Hey guys, what is going on? I am here today to show you how to install System Shock 2 mods. I put up a video yesterday showing the game in action with some mods on and it occurred to me that some people don't know how to actually install some of the mods. Uh, I, I linked a web page that on GOG.com that showed how to do it and they updated recently but I think it's much better to show a video if I'm installing mods I always like to have videos there to show me how to install them properly so maybe some people will find this useful so I have some stuff done here already that um, will happen after you unzip some of these files but just bear with me for a moment. First thing you gotta do is delete the permanent data permanent mods folder from your system shock 2 directory which is in here. I have two other folders here but that is because of the system shock 2 tool but there should be a folder in here when you install it from GOG called data permanent mods not data per mods data permanent mods and you gotta delete that folder completely next thing you gotta do is come and delete all these files they should be in the system shock 2 directory same place I was just in command 2.mis.dml there are five DMLs and you gotta delete all of them from in here and uh, once you got that done you gotta come here and use the system shock 2 tool double click into this you gotta you could choose these if you speak the languages or you want some of the stuff but I just chose these the default ones you gotta come here browse to where your System Shock 2 directory is mine is on a external hard drive come here GOG games System Shock 2 click OK and then you'll see install comes up if you don't click to where the .exe is it won't let you install there so just do that and it should install all that stuff on its own first then it comes here and it downloads newdark.7 zip wait for that to download and the installer will do its thing for you you don't really have to do much there nice little audio cue that you got the right stuff done then all this it should be like this now data per mods and data temp mods and it will update to the newest version. Next thing you want to do is in the data per mods folder just I got a bunch of mods here I can use any one of them just to really show I'll use the shtup or shtup I don't know how to pronounce it mod just come here select all them control C copy them go into your data per mods it should be empty or just say place your mods here mine already has a lot of mods in then you just paste your folder in here I have all this because I have it already done um, when you're copying over a lot of mods like I have what like six seven mods eight even there when you copy them over and it asks you to replace anything just say yes it's usually just replacing the um, mod.ini or something like that I can't remember what it's called um, you also want to copy these folders mesh and obj I think it's object or something but never copy full folders like the tactical folder always just these none of the mod name folders so it should look like this when you have all the mods installed you can put them all in I'm not sure about cutscenes yet I gotta figure that out I think you just install it put them where the cutscene folder is but I don't really want to mess it up and that's pretty much it you can put them in your temp mods folder either I don't know the difference um, permanent temporary I don't know what change what difference it will make and when they're installed just run your shock2.exe and the mods should be installed once you do that if they're not then just I, I don't know yeah I guess you could reinstall the whole game and do it from scratch uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass but it should work when you do this. The Shock 2, System Shock 2 tool is really helpful for this stuff. 
and I will link again all these mods here in the description and I will also link to a web page again showing all the steps involved and what you need to do. It also has some other mods that I don't have installed um, that you can use as optional mods. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this helped anybody figure out how to install mods to the System Shock 2 folder and I will show a video later of all the mods installed and the difference it makes. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.